Many polls suggest that this election is simply too close to call, and I'll be here in front of the big board all night long as those votes start rolling in. The magic number to win a majority, 170 seats. Now, most experts believe that is highly unlikely to happen. This is what the map looked like two years ago when the Trudeau Liberals fell short of that majority. And we're going to be keeping a very close eye on several parts of the country that will likely decide the outcome of this election. You are the Quebec. Le Québec, c'est vous. The unexpected surge of the Bloc Québécois is a big reason why Prime Minister Justin Trudeau ended up with a minority government the last time around. And once again, either the success or failure of the Bloc will be a big storyline tonight. Quebec accounts for nearly a quarter of the seats in the House of Commons, and the Liberals will be trying to regain votes in and around Montreal. Pollsters believe that up to nine ridings could flip La Belle Province, with the Conservatives possibly coming away with a few victories as well. A fierce battle is also being waged in vote-rich Ontario. A handful of seats in Toronto are up for grabs between the Liberals and the NDP. Oh, thank you, thank you. And the closest result of the night could come in the riding of Davenport. The Liberals won that race by less than 1,500 votes in 2019. Meanwhile, embattled Green Party leader enemy Paul will be fighting for her political life, trying to win her own seat in Toronto Centre. That's a long-time red riding that was once held by former Finance Minister Bill Morneau. The so-called 905, those heavily populated cities on the outskirts of Toronto, are also critical. The Conservatives fell flat in that part of the province two years ago. If Aaron O'Toole wants to become Prime Minister, his party will need to pick up wins in places like Mississauga, Brampton and Oakville. If the Liberals end up losing ground in Ontario, the difference could be made up in B.C. But that would mean stealing ridings from the NDP, the Conservatives and perhaps even the Green Party. The Tories jumped from just nine seats to 17 in that province two years ago. And with every vote meaning so much, even some traditional strongholds are worth watching tonight. Insiders believe that at least three seats in the typically conservative province of Alberta could be in play for Trudeau. Even the Atlantic provinces, which are usually a safe haven for the Liberals, could see a handful of ridings change hands. For City News, I'm Melanie Ng.